Okay, I thought I'd make a video of my wheels that I'm making for my Wallace. Um, I've not already made this, I've made the start cutting some bits out of my compass cutter. Um, and I thought, well, no, I'll record this. It might be useful for later. Um, some of you might appreciate a method of making wheels. I mean, there's lots of different methods. This is what I sometimes do. And what I'm going to have a go at for this. So 44 mil diameter wheels I need for this uh, Wallace I'm putting together. So I've cut out two cores, one for each wheel, three mil thick balsa, and then one and a half mil thick balsa, 16th. Um, I've cut out, I've got six, so I need another two actually, because um, I need four for each wheel. Um, so basically I'm going to cut rings out for the tyres, two for each side of the core. Um, that should add up to nine mil thick. Um, I'm also going to cut the hubs out of those. So if I just focus on one wheel for the moment, I've messed one up because I didn't do my maths properly. So I'm going to take that out of the way. Hang that over there. I can't really, I need four discs for my tyre. So I'm going to reset my compass cutter to, um, I need it to be 44 minus 9 for one side of the tyre, plus 9 for the other side. So I need to 18 mil off of 44. So that's going to be 26, I think. 26 plus 18. Let's just check I haven't made a silly error. My mental arithmetic has gone out the window. So 26, 18 makes 44. I'm happy with that. Right, so I'm going to pop that in there. Let's just speed this up. I'll do a little bit of a fast forward in a minute. Uh, does that look like 9 mil? Let's just check on that thing. That works fine. Okay, so a nine mil tire out of that. I'll go from the other side as well, so I'm not going to try and cut through in one go. I should really put a little piece of balsa masking tape over the pinhole because it stops the needle wandering. Let's do that. I always regret it when I don't. There we go, pop those out. So I get hubs. Not quite. Not quite what else it is. I get hubs and I get tyres. Get rid of that masking tape before it's stuck too fast. Always grow your nails. Useful tools. Hub, tire. Okay, stack of four. I'll do that one later. Let's pop this one out of there. I'm going to tease that out a little bit more. My knife is being a bit thicker. And cut through cleanly. Could have got away with much softer balsa. I started with it. I'm going to just carry on. Come on, there you go. There we go. That's what we need for one one wheel. Okay, so we've got a hub. I'm going to stick these together. I'm going to cross the grain to give it lots of strength. Clamp that together. Let it dry. Looks a bit fat at the moment. Um, but it shouldn't be far off my aim thickness. I'm aiming for nine. I've got ten, that's fine. There's a bit of sound in it, I'll bring that down. Okay. Um I'm gonna clamp those together, and then I'm just gonna sand that to get the nice profile. Um 
I could put this on a drill and spin it, but I'm just going to show you how I could do it by hand. But yeah, I need to clamp that up nice and tight. Now, I'm going to let that go off. Let's go back to the cure. Um, I've lost half the clamps. I don't know where they're holding. They've got one massively heavy on it. But uh, I'll clamp that up, let that dry, and I'll come back to you in a bit. I've got my two wheels cut out in terms of parts, so that's one. I glued it together. This is the second one. I've, I thought I'd try a slightly different approach with the second one. I haven't glued it all together yet. I've still got my core. I've stuck my tyres, two, two rings together for tyres on one side of that core. And the same again for the other side. And before I stick them together completely, I thought that might give me a little bit more of an opportunity to sand the inner part of that ring. Um, I was just using a roll of uh, sandpaper, a piece of paper, nothing fancy. Um, I thought actually that might make life a bit easier. Uh, in the past I've done it, so I've stuck it all together. Um, so I'll try it this way, I'll try it that way, see which is the best. The pieces that I cut out from the internal, the inside from each uh, this set of rings for the tyres, I've kept those and I've glued a pair together to make, that'll make a hub. I've got a Selling that to shape yet. So I've got four of those, two for each wheel. Okay, so that's core, tyre one side, tyre another side. That's the whole shebang stuck together. Um, the first thing I do, I like to mark the centre of the tyre. Um, that's the high point. Too worried about how perfectly I do this. I've done a very good job of that actually. But there's a central mark there, just so that's the high point. Gives me a bit of a reference. I can use the knife just to take a chamfer off from the inside, just to save some sanding, anything to save a bit of effort. Literally, just a bit of a chamfer off of there, just to get started on that profile do the inner, the inner part of the tire first roll the sandpaper uh, it'd probably be better if it was a fresher piece of sandpaper um, but let's just see here we go so I'm just literally going to go around like that so this is a low-tech way of making wheels so it's good if you haven't got a drill it's also good if you're lazy like me and you can't bother to get the drill out and set it all up. I'm just going to work my way around. Quite quickly, I've got the inside of that tyre looking like, almost like a tyre. The outside edge is a bit easier. I'll start off by taking the chamfer off at 45 degree angle. So it's quite easy lamination to be you can see where the centre of the tyre is, but you could highlight it if you wanted as a design. So I want it to be the widest diameter. Give you a reference so I'm not going to get too carried away. And I'll just work my way around. Hopefully you can see. 
see that that is nice and to look quite good. Didn't take long. Obviously, when I cut, when I sand those to profile, that'll just sit in there. We know it's going to sit in there and fit because it was cut out of there in the first place. Um, this particular tire or particular wheel, the hub's basically just a shallow dome. So I reckon I can just quickly pop that up. The sounding block. I can just take a little bit off the outside edge. As required. I could turn this on the drill. Most people probably would. Oh, I just quite like I quite like doing it by hand. Very close to the model then. other way I'm not sure it is to be honest it's going to take longer because I'm going to have to get the inside bit shaped and I'm going to have to glue it again and wait for it to dry again second time in a way I might as well have just done it first time there we go. but even this piece here it hasn't taken long to get a decent dome you can go around and make sure that the thickness is even on the edge and that's your guide but that's Quite rough at the moment, but it's going to sit in there and look like a wheel. I'm quite happy with that. I'll then drill it through, put an aluminium tube in there, um, but I think that's going to look okay. I'll get this in the other side of the wheel done. And a bit of a tire dump. I'm still on the, it's not a very coarse sandpaper, this is quite, I suppose it's medium, I don't really know what it is. I suppose if I unrolled it, I'll probably be able to tell you. Um, stuck it together. Um, I'll see what it is, it's P180. Um, I got lucky once when I went to screw fix, I ordered one packet of 10 sheets and they gave me 10 packets of 10 sheets. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still using it. I probably should have taken it back and said, "Oh, you give me too much." But I'm uh, sorry to say that I didn't. Uh, it's lasted me very well, thanks. diameter sorry and then the hub will pop in there and I think that looks half decent right, so there's my wheels I've had a coat of sanding sealer put on them um, I did give them a quick going over with some fine uh, 400 grit beforehand um, so they're looking quite happy in there they're dry So there's a nice gloss to them now. Let's see, if, see what that looks like. We'll hop in there. Let's take one of these off of here. Um, I don't feel like it came up very well in the previous shots, so hopefully you can see that. Um, not quite pleased with that. Right, so there's a bit of a paint factory going on. I've painted my tyres. Um, they're 
they're a bit they've dried a bit darker than I painted them but that's basically a very dark grey I thought I'd go I thought I'd go dark um, so it's not flat black that's black with a bit of grey mixed up um, that's just the first coat so they're looking all right though um, and then the hubs I've had a bit of a nightmare over the hubs because the paint I decided to use was a metal can from Halfords reacted with a sounding sealer that I probably didn't let dry long enough really being impatient so and also I don't like the, the paint I got it was a bit too metallic -y, grainy uh, so we'll get another paint but anyway I've rubbed that all off and I've painted it now with an acrylic silver that'll do um, they're looking a bit better they will need a little bit of a polish off with a very fine grit before they get a second coat but on the whole I think they're looking okay so I need to go away and let that all dry now before I wreck it all okay so let's just see what these look like paints have a chance to dry um, okay just a little bit of grain a bit of grain there so I think uh, I like going over with some very very fine maybe 600 grit and a final coat we'll see that sorted let's see what it looks like with the hub in okay wheel so I'm happy with that that hub you can see it isn't perfectly perfectly round so maybe I'll fuss over that a little bit but there's character there so I'll put that down to that uh, yeah. Bosch. <laughs> 